What is up, you guys? Brooke here, and today is round six. Six? Today is round six of the Strike Back Videoathon, and I am in love with today's topic because it is bookish merch. And I do have to say, instead of it saying bookish merch, I need to just go ahead and say Harry Potter merch because I have just like non-stop Harry Potter stuff here. I'm sure there's lots of people out there who have way more Harry Potter stuff than me, but I have quite a bit and I'm gonna show you guys today. So first things first, look at this wand. Aw, look at it, isn't it pretty? I got it from Harry Potter World. This is actually supposed to be McGonagall's wand and it's so pretty and slick and stuff. I really do like this wand, but now that I'm older, I feel like this is a little too perfect looking for me. I feel like I need something that looks a little bit more what's the word I'm looking for rustic or flawed I want something more flawed I think that's what it is with this this one just looks so slick and sleek and it looks really really pretty but I feel like if I was to actually have my wand be chosen for me I feel like this wouldn't be my wand I feel like this is a little too flawless and I just want something a little bit more chari characteristically flawed <laughs> But overall though, I really do like this wand. I am proud to have this over on my display of my little Harry Potter section over there by my kitchen. And it's really, really pretty and I do hope to get another wand that I would pair with this one on my little display over there. Also next to my wand over on my kitchen area, I have the unofficial Harry Potter cookbook. My coworker at work, she knew I love Harry Potter and she saw this and thought that this would be really cute to have. She didn't expect me to really cook any of the recipes and whatnot and I haven't yet. I really think it'd be fun to do that one time just to have a go at it. But I mean, look, they have Knickerbocker glory. I have no idea what this is. They have petunias pudding. They've got crumpets, pumpkin pasties, pasties or pastries, pasties, Harry's first birthday cake. Oh, that's so sweet. All right, and another thing that's over by my little setup at my kitchen is this Dumbledore candle. And it smells so good. It just always smells so good. I have never burned this because it smells so good and I'm scared to burn it because I don't want it to just go away and disappear and be out of my life. And it says Dumbledore. It's not really focusing, but it says Dumbledore lemon drops. What's the other one it says? Raspberry jam and old books. And boy, oh boy, if this doesn't like encapsulate the smells of Dumbledore. I don't know what else does, especially lemon drops and old books. That just sounds like what Dumbledore would like go for. And then the last thing that's over in my kitchen setup for Harry Potter little area is this little owl here. And it's not, it doesn't look like Hedwig cause it's got these little dots here on the back, but I just feel like this is so cute. And it does remind me of Hedwig in a couple ways because of course it's white and it looks like a snow owl, but it, <laughs> And I just thought he would be a good little addition to my little Harry Potter setup over there because he's an owl and owls are very essential to the Harry Potter world. Okay, so moving on to other Harry Potter merch, which is this makeup bag holder of the Harry Potter like school envelope thing. And I've already gotten lipstick and stuff on it and I'm so sad that it's like stained because this is just like the cutest little makeup little carrying purse that I have in my purse. <laughs> And on the back it says, Mr. H. Potter, the cupboard under the stairs. And it has for Privet Drive on there. So that's pretty freaking cool. And then I have a Hedwig coin purse. It carries all of my little goodie coins. And then he's also carrying another Hogwarts letter. But isn't this just like the cutest thing? I love this in my purse. This always makes me so happy when I open it up because I know Hedwig is there with me. I think I've also shown this uh, scarf here a couple times, but I don't think I've like showed it, showed it to you guys. This is like a lot of emblems of the Harry Potter glore. Like they've got the crests of Gryffindor, the official Hogwarts crest, and then I think that's Ravenclaw. Where's Hufflepuff? There's Hufflepuff, there's mine, Hufflepuff. But yeah, this is just adorable. It's a nice, good, uh, what's those scarves where they are like this? Is it Infinity Scarf? And I really like to wear this with lots of my plain colored long sleeve shirts. Okay, next thing I think I'll show you guys are earrings. I love my Harry Potter earrings. These are lightning bolts. Here, I'm gonna give you an up close shot 
right over here. Look at my lightning bolts. It's kind of hard to see with the lighting and I'm sorry, but look, aren't that cute? And then these are the Deathly Hallows symbols. Woo, woo, woo. And then platform nine and three quarters earrings as well. So I love my earrings. And then also real quick, I also have Hedwig earrings that I just adore to wear usually on the regular. Okay, moving on to shirts. I really think these are the only two Harry Potter shirts I have. And this one is just like your basic Hogwarts shirt that you get from uh, Hogwarts and Universal and stuff. And so this is a really cute one. And then this is like my favorite shirt to wear. It's just like the best. Here, let me just show you. It's Hipster Hedwig. Hipster Hedwig. I, that's what I call this shirt anyway. I just think this is like the cutest thing ever. He just looks so like, mm, mm. I just love his look with the scarf that he's got on and the glasses just make it. He looks like a sarcastic owl almost. Kind of like going like, really? Hmm? But oh my gosh, Hipster Hedwig. That's like my favorite shirt to wear. Ah. And you probably have seen this in the background of lots of my videos. This is Hedwig on the Privet Drive sign whenever they're in Harry Potter's like normal muggle world and stuff. But isn't this just the cutest thing? I love this so much. And it's the same thing on the back as well. It just kind of has a, this nice kind of pastel pale pink color that I really, really like and adore. And it goes really nice with my uh, attire in my apartment and stuff and this is just like the cutest thing ever and I love this pillow and I think I got this from Redbubble in case you were curious I think it was Redbubble or Society6 I think it was Redbubble and it's Brooke 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 from the future I am coming in loud and clear from the future because I had forgotten to add a couple things to my a list of book merchandise things that I own and so I will go ahead and show them to you all I've got some candles here made by fellow booktuber that bookie who just also happens to be one of the hosts of the strike back videothon and by the way her name is Julia if you didn't know Julia makes candles all these are really really pretty and gorgeous and they relate around one a theme of books and whatnot this one is from a court of thorns and roses it is oh, I wish you could see this um I guess I'll go ahead and turn this off for a second ah. this is amarantha candle amarantha is the bad chick from a court of thorns and roses and it's really really pretty and kind of got a pop hipster uh chick vibe to it <laughs> And it smells of pomegranate and white tea. And I have already used this quite a bit. Normally, whenever you first get this, it is all kinds of sparkles. And I, and you can tell I've burned this a lot because lots of the sparklies are gone. But it's gorgeous and it smells just as gorgeous as it looks. And this one here, I have not used as much, but I have uh, already used it a little bit. And it's August. And oh my gosh, what book is this from? It's from the Victoria Schwab Oh, the Savage Song, and it's, I think it's that trilogy, duology series, whatever you want to call it, but it's from that series, and it's, uh, it's got a little violin here because the person who I believe is named August, I'm guessing here because of the name, um, August here, I guess, plays the violin, and so they've got a candle based around him, and it's got lots of sparkles. See, I was telling you, there's lots of sparkles here. This one is a little teeny candle that I really, really like, and I've been meaning to get a bigger one of because it smells of snickerdoodle, and it smells really good. Even just, mmm, mmm, even just, like, holding it right here. I can smell it and it's great. But it's Snickerdoodle and it's Lane it's a Laney candle. And Laney, if you don't know, is a character from the book Keeper, which is a book by Kim Chance. If you guys don't know who Kim Chance is, she is an author tuber. And Kim's book Keeper comes out January 30th, if you were wanting to go ahead and check that out. And this was a candle that was all green, it sparkles, because the book Keeper is all green and it's a really pretty green, electrifying. See the lightning bolts right there? It's a very green electrifying book cover and it's really, really pretty. So all of those candles are really, really pretty to look at. I wish I could show them off to you. I guess I can kind of show them off to you by like making them far away. Can we do this? There's the candles, guys. They're really pretty, right? Okay, so those are my candles that I have, and I have one more item to show you that I completely forgot to show you the other day. This is a Harry Potter tote bag. It's like a Harry Potter bookshelf tote bag. Isn't that just like the coolest thing ever? I got it from Redbubble, and you can see in the details that there's a, a snitch right here, 
and then you'll see lots of Gryffindor scarves. Where's a Gryffindor? Aha! There's a Gryffindor scarf right here, and then Harry's glasses and a lightning bolt right there, and it looks like some nice little candies. And then there's a wand right here. It's hard to see because it's at the... Can you see the wand? Yeah, there it is. Isn't this like the cutest bag? And my overall purse is this kind of burgundy maroon color so it ma so whenever I carry this tote bag around it matches my purse like pretty much spot on so this has been a really good uh, tote bag to have and if you're curious of where I got got it from Redbubble okay so Brooke from the future is now going back to the past. All right, so that was round six of, six, right? That was round six of the Strike Back Videothon, and that one was so much fun. I had been looking forward to shooting that one. Oh, and I guess this one, I guess this is kind of bookish merch. This I had gotten from Story Arts, and it's like pages out of the Peter Pan book, and they've got Tinkerbell here. Look at her being all fairy and cute. Oh, I love that. And then they also have a pirate ship. Is this it? Is this upside down? I can't tell. I gotta switch it around. But they also have Captain Hook's pirate ship right there. Isn't that just so cool? I just think this is so pretty and it has the actual words from the books and stuff. So yes, that was all of my bookish merch that I have in my apartment. Thank you all so much for watching today's video. Stay tuned for tomorrow's video, which will be round seven of the Videothon. So anyway, I will catch you guys next time. Bye!